This problem will blow away your mind. We have three identical circles of radius, one unit, which are touching each other externally like this. Then, there is an elastic band around this circle like this. Our job is to find the length of this band. So, can you solve it? When we place an elastic band around these three circles, the band will form a shape that consists of three straight line segments and three curved segments. The straight segments are the tangent lines between circles and the curved segments follow the outline of each circle. To find the total length of the elastic band, we need to calculate the length of the three straight line segments and the length of the three curved segments. Now let me tell you a property of externally touching circles. When you connect their centers, the distance between the centers of any two touching circles becomes the sum of their radii. Since all three circles have radius 1, the distance between any two centers will be 1 plus 1, which is 2. That means the triangle is equilateral, which is just a fancy name for a triangle where all sides and all angles are equal. So in our case, each side is 2, and each angle is 60 degrees. Now, let us find the length of these straight parts of the band. To figure that part out, we draw a straight line segment from the center of each circle out to where the band touches the circle or these points. So now we have drawn all the six line segments. Since the band just lightly touches the circle at these points, it acts like a tangent. And here's an important rule about tangents. Whenever a line touches a circle like this, the line from the center to the touching point makes a right angle or 90 degrees with the tangent, or in this case, the band. Now since both of them are 90 degrees, and both these sides are of equal length, which is the same as the radii of these circles, or one unit, therefore this quadrilateral will be a rectangle and thus this piece will be equal to this or two units. Both these angles will also be equal to 90 degrees. Using similar arguments, we can show that these two line segments of the band will also be equal to two units. So the total length of all the straight parts of the band equals 2 plus 2 plus 2, or 6 units. Wow! Noise! Now let us figure out the length of the curved parts. Now let this central angle be equal to x. We also know that the angle of a full circle is 360 degrees. So we have x plus 90 plus 90 plus this 60 equals 360. This gives x plus these will add up to get 240, which equals 360. So x equals 120 degrees. That means the band covers a 120 degree arc on each circle. Circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi times its radius, right? Radius is 1 unit, and thus the circumference of this circle is 2 pi units. If full circle or 360 degrees equals 2 pi units, then what do you think will be the length of 120 degrees curved part of the circle? That's easy. It will be 120 over 360 times 2 pi, or 2 pi over 3. So. The length of this curved part of the band is equal to 2 pi over 3 units. Similarly, the length of other two curved parts will be equal to 2 pi over 3. So the total length of all the curved parts of the band equals 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3 or 6 pi over 3 or simply 2 pi units. Therefore, the total length of the band becomes 6 plus 2 pi units, which is roughly 12.28 units. And that's it. That was super cool. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So good!